Hey everyone, it's Dr. Shirley here at Level Up Integrative Health. Today I'm going to talk about bone health. The great thing about primary care with functional medicine is that we address systems and we optimize them before we have problems. We take a proactive approach. The reason why we want to address bone health is because after age 30, we start losing bone. Um, in terms of osteoporosis related fractures, turns out they're really common. One out of two women will get a fracture and one out of five men will get an osteoporosis related fracture. Why does that matter? Because it affects mortality. One in three people over 50 who get an osteoporosis related fracture will end up dying within one year of a hip fracture. But there's good news. There are a lot of lifestyle related risk factors that functional medicine can address and this will limit your risk. You don't have to wait until you're 65 or older. This is something you can address at any point and you will have better bone health within just a couple of months. The first thing you want to do is stop smoking. After that, you want to address physical activity. You want to exercise and you want to focus on strength related exercise that builds muscle and strengthens bone. Also, any exercise that, that improves balance is good as well because it decreases the risk of fall, falls. Nutritional deficiency. This is why we do the hair analysis test because we want to know what we're deficient in and we want to know what different foods to add to our diet. We also want to address any, any malabsorption issues in terms of um, like stress related uh, bloating or any other problems related to digestion issues. Uh, we want to decrease alcohol and caffeine intake. These are diuretics that cause us to lose water and as we lose water we lose minerals that we need to build bone. Hormone imbalance is super important. Too little thyroid is not good, too much thyroid is also not good. Low estrogen and low testosterone are also related to bone loss. Certain medications and certain um, medical conditions are also related to bone loss, and these are issues that I'll talk about in a different in a different video. But today, the takeaway is that bone health is super important. It affects your your mortality, and there is a bunch of stuff that you can do about it.